All right. Well, you got a, a quick six. How are you feeling? I feel good <laughs> after win. You know, every fight was uh, feeling good. Uh, feeling more better than before. <laughs> Did you kind of expect to be able to go in and, and in there and finish so quickly, or was that a little bit of a surprise even to you? Please, slowly. <laughs> yeah, I think about but because uh, we have big difference in weight and I feel in good in um, ground and pound and strikes. Um, I don't know, maybe he thinking about lucky punch. So the heavyweight spot last week, I'm wondering if you watched and if there was anybody on that card that impressed you that you'd like to fight in the next round? Not every, every fight, uh, but uh, I know a lot of guys uh, from last season and every season. And I watch it uh, not every fight, but... Uh, um, uh, the main people, he knows who they are and he pays attention, close attention to them. Who do you think is your biggest competition? Uh, I think uh, Ante Deli, uh, last champion, but uh, I don't know why he uh, did, did not uh, fight last week, but I think uh, he's number one. He's actually out of the, the season with an injury, so does that make everything a little bit more exciting knowing that he's not going to be there or are you a little disappointed you won't be able to fight him? В этом сезоне его не будет, поэтому ну ты удивился, что в этом сезоне его не будет или ты знал об этом? I don't know about. <laughs> uh, I I thought about uh, he he'll have fight next uh, part in June, but I think we I I have chance. <laughs> Big chance. <laughs> because you didn't have to fight last week with everybody else, you were able to watch all of the fights first? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Because uh, you know how much uh, they have uh, points and you can uh, take your um, strategy for the fight, for your fight and you see, you, you, you can um, chance, uh, take six points, five points uh, for your season. Was there also a disadvantage because now you have one less week to recover? They all have started recovering last week. So when you guys are all going to fight again, you'll have one less week. Or does one week not really matter? У них получается одну на одну неделю больше будет оспор, чем у тебя. Ты думаешь, это будет влиять? Это no, no. Uh, professional fighter uh, preparing every time in a year. It doesn't matter when he when he has a fight, but you can do как основная основная часть подготовки. The main part of your camp, 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 preparing, uh, preparing uh, before the fight, about three weeks before the fight. Thank you. Hey Dennis, uh, I heard, uh, so a week or two ago you were supposed to fight uh, Jorgen De Castro, but mm -hmm. I heard you had a visa issue, is that, is that true? You had a visa problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because uh, I took a visa, but uh, my ID uh, stay in uh, USA как посольство? Council. Council, yeah. USA Council and long time stay there. And uh, I, I couldn't uh, take back with visa. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you here. Um, so you, uh, the, the cash fight fight didn't work out, but, the, but then you had uh, Patrick Brady that you were going to fight as well, right? Then did that, that also got canceled? Then you fight here today? So it was my fourth fight and uh, then uh, Patrick got canceled. Was that a surprise for you? Uh, no, 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 Broken fly <laughs> and is everything. 
was that like frustrating for you to have two fights that kind of fell out? And obviously, you hear you won, but before this, это с этим трудно, как бы проблематично это было, или как бы то, что ты сейчас сделал, и все все нормально вышло, сейчас все хорошо. А, ну, скажу, в целом, просто изменения в подготовке произошли, конечно же. Это немножко повлияло, но в целом... Slight, uh, opponents, overall, it's, it's kind of the the Потому что ты как, как бы готовишься к, к финалу, и как, с каждым боем должен прибавлять, прибавлять все больше и больше, поэтому к первому бою было бы глупо подходить в идеальной форме. He concentrates mainly uh, for the final fights, and he prepares accordingly. Uh, and closer to the finals, he will just increase the preparation and uh, uh, all the hard work. Скажи, ко скажи, когда готовишься в нутражку без соса, то приходится тщательно подходить к подготовке и к максимальным пиковым формам. He's a clean athlete, uh, so in his preparations, he does everything natural, everything clean. So. Um, that's why he takes a little bit of time and increase the training accordingly towards each opponent and he'll push harder towards the final. Ну, а чистый боец не может быть все время быть на пике формы. And a clean athlete, it's very hard for him to be always in the peak of his performance. That's why he'll slowly in increase uh, closer to the finals. Uh, last thing for me, uh, how do you celebrate this great win? Как ты будешь праздновать этот шикарный бой? Stay house. <laughs> I'm heavyweight, you know. <laughs> I like stay house. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, congratulations on the win. Thanks. Um, this is obviously your third opponent that you're supposed to fight. Uh, how does the preparation change at all? Um, adjustment period between fighting three different fighters. Uh, did they put a little bit of a dent in the preparation? Or no, no. If, if, uh, if you're a good heavyweight fighter, you must have uh, first uh, first place as a function. If you don't have function, or or another doesn't matter. <laughs> but uh, you can breathe in all fights, breathe in good. If you don't, if you can't breathe, you can do everything in first round. But it doesn't matter. Ты получил очень yeah, много yeah, yeah. очков. Какой, какой твой месседж всем другим соперникам? Готовьтесь лучше. Say just prepare better. должен быть тот соперник, тот, но вышел этот, и ты его так с ним все сделал. Какое твое мнение на все, что случилось и на этот бой? А, я думал, бой немножко закончится иначе. Ну, честно говоря, я доволен боем, но остался небольшой осадок, учитывая, что, конечно, у нас разные габариты и разные как кондиции. И, конечно, немножко его, ну не немножко, просто по-человечески жаль, что так все закончилось. Потому что и самое, самое главное, что мы все, мы, самое главное, что мы все бойцы и Нужно друг друга уважать знаете, и понимать, что здоровье оно не вечное, и рано или поздно спорт закончится, бои закончатся. Да, и я бы не хотел бы, чтобы uh, я был частью или участником того, что потом спортсмен имел бы проблемы со здоровьем и чувствовал себя как-то в дальнейшем нехорошо.
walk me through that finish. Um, sometimes when fighters get that pop control, they just go berserk. But you seem very patient, very calm, and you picked your shots. You didn't just go extreme, you know, to the extreme. You just were very tactical in the way you stopped and got the information. Скажи просто, что тут самое главное быть спокойным, не суетиться. Бой это как шахматы, и каждый боец должен просчитывать движение на шаг на два вперед. И в целом ситуация была под контролем, и я действовал, бил, потому что мне соперник давал это делать, и я видел, что он не готовит контратаки. And not rush things and have a control. It's, it's similar to chess. Uh, take your time. Uh, also, he felt like his opponent was not uh, providing too much threat for him, uh, so he was uh, picking uh, his shots and fighting accordingly to the the position and uh, what his opponent would give him. Excellent. I'm sure they saw. I don't know if you got to see the fight, but. You were the third knockout in the first round. So you have an extra motivation, like, okay, I gotta keep up with it. It's just lucky. <laughs> well done, and congrats. Thank you. Thank you.